We're about to find out what will happen to kids in grades three through five. Plus, spring semester is just around the corner for local universities. Katarina Krasafa shows us how Washington State University is working to keep their students safe as they navigate the path forward. It can be nerve wracking returning to campus in the middle of a pandemic. That's why universities are trying to get a head start at stopping the spread of COVID-19. It's challenging, definitely. Yeah. Life as we know it has changed. For college students, it's no different. Uh, there is a limited amount of people to be in in one room. Washington yeah, State University like pharmacy schedule. student Michael Asfa will have some online classes and some in-person classes this year. I did have like a reservation like just in case like you know what I mean like with people are coming back from holidays right now. That's why anyone heading back to campus will be tested before the first day. Uh, with the cases rising like we definitely like you know have to continuously like you know check and uh, protect like our community. While most students are able to learn completely from home. Our students still need to do skills development where they come onto our campus in a very regulated way and they get their clinical skills development training. This includes students in their medicine, nursing, and pharmacy programs. We also have Eastern Washington University with their occupational therapy and their physical therapy programs and their um, dentistry program. Staff members at WSU say it extends far beyond that. But this is also being done for the um, public health benefit to the community at large. So. It'll also prepare pharmacy students like Michael for what the future has in store. Pharmacists are doing like, you know, the point of care testing like in communities. So. A community he's determined to help keep safe. Like I think we should be able to be fine. In Spokane, Katarina Krasafis, 4 News Now.